I welcome all of you to this uh, surgical management of pediatric attack. It will be video based uh, learning and uh, uh, with me I have uh, my faculty uh, Dr. Uh, <coughs> Parul Chawla Gupta. She is associate uh, professor at uh, PJMER Chandigarh. Show the next slide. And uh, she is uh, exclusively working in the field of pediatric. Uh, and uh, we have uh, Dr. Savleen Kaur. Uh, she is uh, exclusively working in pediatric ophthalmology and uh, doing pediatric cataract and uh, also strabismus. Uh, Dr. Jaspreet uh, Sukhija, uh, he is professor, but actually due to uh, uh, he, he has undergone surgery uh, uh, only recently uh, in emergency. So. Uh, his talk uh, will be delivered by Dr. Savleen Kaur. And I am Dr. Jagat Ram. I am uh, uh, now I am retired from PGI after doing 42 years of service to PGI. And uh, I will also be uh, topics we will tell uh, of each. Uh, regarding uh, the introduction of this course, uh, there is a tremendous change. There is tremendous change for the last uh, 42 years which I have witnessed in the field of pediatric cataract surgery because while I joined PGI uh, 42 years, 4 months back, uh, that point of time only people were doing uh, needling and needling and aspiration and then came the technique uh, of extracapsular cataract surgery and IUL implantation and uh, then uh, uh, this is followed by PECO aspiration and IUL implantation. There is a, even now at present, people are doing PEMETO uh, assisted uh, laser cataract surgery. Uh, we will discuss in detail, but uh, particularly in the surgical technique and IUL implantation, there is tremendous change, particularly in the IUL implantation. Uh, 42 years back, I think uh, very few people or no, nobody was uh, implanting IOL, but uh, as the time passed, uh, indication uh, came that uh, okay, up to uh, two year or more we can implant IOL uh, because due to growing uh, eye, there are there are a lot of uh, issues uh, of concern such as IOL power calculation and issues they will be discussed in detail and then at present uh, more and more number of people they are implanting IOL uh, and the, the age for implantation has gone down even uh, uh, the child which I operated uh, about 25 years back that child is now 25 year and uh, he has done MBBS and uh, uh, his vision is excellent. Uh, that point of time, uh, 25 years back, even that point of time, I did uh, primary posterior capsulotomy and anterior vitrectomy. So there is tremendous change in the surgical technique as well as IOL implantation uh, indications. 